Russian cannibal family have confessed to killing and eating 30 people in a 20 year reign of terror. I'm Rebecca Felgate bringing you some sick news here on IO, but not the good kind of sick. Before I get started with this story I just want to let you guys know that we have set up a Patreon account. This means that you can support content creation on this channel. Because of YouTube's new advertiser rules we aren't able to monetize some of our stories like ones about killer cannibals. Because we don't think that YouTube should censor or decide what is news we are giving our subscribers a chance to support this kind of content via monthly donations on Patreon. You'll also get some really cool exclusive rewards and Charlotte might do a dance for you. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box down below but for now back to the story. The glorious glorious story about murder. A 35 year old Russian man Dmitry Bakshev has been identified as a cannibal by Russian police. It is thought that he began killing when he was just 17 years old and these days he finds kills and eats his victims with his wife Natalia. The news comes as a mobile phone containing pictures of Dmitry posing next to disembodied limbs was discovered in the Russian city of Krasnodar. Following the discovery Dmitry was locally identified and the Bakshev family home was raided. Video lessons on cannibalism were discovered along with body parts kept in the couples freezer which is pretty gross. On top of that preserved human meat was found in jars. This was all discovered at their home on a military base in Krasnodar city. Military personnel said that they had become suspicious of the couple because of the smell coming from their living quarters. Now this smell wasn't coming from the dead bodies but actually the drug that they used to put their victims to sleep which is even creepier. Military workers said that they never pursued the issue as Natalia was extremely hostile to potential guests. Natalia has undergone psychiatric tests and it has been concluded that she's sane and accountable for her actions. It is thought that she and her husband met at the military academy where they both work. Upon raiding their home, further pictures have emerged of potential victims, including an old image from the late 90s of a stuffed head on a plate with a lot of oranges. This is so grim. On top of that, several images of victims, who at the moment all appear to be women, have been found at their property. This may help in the identification process, but it is extremely sad. Both husband and wife are in police custody awaiting trial. That is really grim, so that's all I have on their story, but I mean, what convinces a person that they should eat human meat? It's just disgusting. Let me know your thoughts on this story in the comments section down below. But guys, before I go, I'm going to read some comments from one of Charlotte its videos last week. This one, Hip Hip Hooray, is about a flesh eating bug. You gotta keep it on the flesh theme in a video, you know? Sarah Heat Frost said, My co worker and friend actually got this after getting a cut on his hands while swimming. It's a really scary bacteria. Also, for future reference, it's pronounced necrotizing fasciitis. I mean, Sarah, did I say that right? I don't think so. Necroting fasciitis? I mean, either way, it's a flesh eating bug and nobody wants it. Sydney Clement wrote, She is still beautiful, which is very kind of you to say, Sydney. It was a pretty scary story, so let's end it with something a little bit more light hearted. Jada Raid says, Charlotte, can you go to homecoming with me? I don't have a date. Well, Jada Raid, she may be a little bit old for you, but I will say this to all of you going to homecoming. Guys, don't worry about not having dates. Go with your mates and have fun in a group. Dates can be like a whole lot of drama and awkwardness and honestly you may have more fun with your friends. Defy convention, get the gang together and just head on out. Okay so cannibals, flesh eating bugs and dates with Charlotte. What a trio. This is all I have, I better get out of here before Charlotte comes back and clocks me one which you know probably be well deserved. Thank you guys for watching this video, let me know your thoughts. I know it's been a bit grim but do share your thoughts in the comments section down below. For now I'm Rebecca Felgate, there are going to be two videos that you might want to check out floating after this video. Also the link to our Patreon is in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend and I will see you guys next time. Bye!